So as the level may have already pretty much told you, this is the level where you're going to face both, well, all of the enemies you've encountered before. Zombies, skeletons and ghosts, so definitely be careful, because every single of these ra of these types has their own special and attacks and weaknesses and such. Like the ghost pirates seem to be pretty strong against the eye shot, so try to be careful with that, or it might just be that the eye shot is kind of crap. But that's a different story altogether. What you should basically worry about mostly are the balls of steel enemies of the skeleton type, and you they, they generally don't spawn all that much, but still you have to be careful of them because they deal a very, 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 very large amount of damage. And there is one. So yeah, if they miss, then it's no problem at all. But if they hit, then yeah, pain. So try not to well, die. That's generally the advice I am still giving right here. Because it is advice that is quite sound and works for pretty much every single video game ever made. So, yeah. Except for maybe try to die in 30 seconds or whatever the level. Or how fast can you die in 5 minutes or whatever the game was called. I'm not really sure. But yeah, the general idea was that you had to die in really weird ways. And it was actually quite a funny game. But that's a different game altogether. And you should probably look that up on Google at some point. Because I'm pretty sure it's just a flash game. But still, it is pretty amusing. So. Definitely try to look that one up at some point, but actually try to look up this game as well because personally I quite enjoy it And someone has to beat my score at some point and then go oh, my score is way higher than yours <laughs> And then I can go yeah, I don't really care or maybe not even respond at all because I'm such a mean mean person Anyway, that's a different story altogether right now We are just making sure that these ghosts and skeletons do not steal all of my treasure right now and right now it's actually not going too bad in my humble opinion in terms of how much treasure is being stolen. Which I quite like actually because on my previous run, huh, it really went really really bad. So um, try not to repeat that one again. I'm just gonna try to make it to the end in a nice and effective and safe manner. And I am already at the 4th of the 5th level, so I'm pretty sure I should be fine, really. But you should never say that too loud. Because once you start saying stuff like that, everything will go wrong. So, um, yeah, don't, don't say that ever. In any possible situation, it is a bad, bad, bad idea to say stuff like that. And you're hearing this information from a pro of people who have once given bad information, so, yeah. Pro and giving bad information. It's definitely something I'm quite proud of, but on the other hand, no, not really. I did not mean to pick that one up that bad. And all of these guys are gonna try to steal my treasure, and I'm near death. And maybe I can quickly put a whip there. There we go. And just ignore them for a while. Maybe get some useful power ups, like slow down. I'm not really gonna bother with that one anymore. It's too far away, in my humble opinion. And it's not really worth the risk. Uh, okay, well, there went my web. But at least I managed to take out most of these enemies right here. So hopefully the web will disappear in a moment. And then I can safely pick up all of these boxes except for the red one over there, which, of course, was confused controls. It's always bloody confused bloody controls. And it's kind of annoying because I'm really not always quite as good with it. In my humble opinion, so um, yeah. And it's turned back again. Uh, it's really quite. I personally, I think it's the most annoying one that you can get. But you know, that's just my personal opinion. I'm sure there's people out there that are quite good with those situations and can easily handle it, but I cannot. So I generally try not to get it. Uh. So, as you can see, more and more treasures being stolen. I should not have said that it was going good. This is what happens when you do, and bad, bad, bad. So, hopefully I can get rid of all of these ones. It's quite a lot. That's kind of the problem we're facing here. And I am going to have to leave at least one of them behind there. I was not really expecting to turn around that quickly over there, but there you go. Come on. It's also kind of annoying that picking up treasure make the same noise as, um, when they're stealing it, so that's 
Also something you should probably look out for. Ah, uh, there you go. At least I have already made it one place higher on the leaderboards. If, if I actually cared for it, would be really, really nice. But I do not, so yeah. You know, some people speculate that we actually make this music on the boat, but actually, we just buy a bought an MP3 player offshore. Because, you know, it's just a lot more convenient than trying to play the accordion or a violin while on a boat. It's not very easy, it's definitely an underrated skill, and people should pay more money to see stuff like that. Because have you ever tried to play an instrument on a boat? It's not very easy at all. In fact, it's really quite tricky, so... Generally, if you can play an instrument on a boat, then try to get money from it, really, because... I think we can all agree that it is quite tricky. For some reason, I thought it was already at the wave 20-ish, but... I don't think this level actually has wave 20, so that would be kind of strange, I guess. Uh, so many red boxes. Why are there already so many red boxes? I don't like red boxes at all. I like the green ones. The green ones are good. I like green boxes that inexplicably give me magical cannonballs and stuff like that. I don't know how it works. It just does. You don't question these things or else you're silly. And I am losing a lot of health here, which is bad. And more importantly, I'm losing money. Because I don't like it when people steal my loot generally a bad thing, and I picked up a thing, and I don't know what it was, and it's aggressive enemies, and I'm still not entirely sure what aggressive enemies actually does. I've seen it a couple times, and it does virtually nothing, and it's always been... I, I kind of figured that uh, the enemies would go towards you more and try to kill you, but in general, not much seems to have changed, which is kind of strange, really, but there you go. I didn't name the, the power-ups and Blah, 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 blah. So, if blah 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 then the phone rings and I'll be right back in a moment. You know, it's a common misconception that we do not actually have phones in our boots. Oh yes we do, we have phones, and we have MP3 players, and we love it. Also, I just experienced what it's like to try to go down the stairs with a sleeping leg. It's not a very pleasant experience, and I nearly fell down, and... <laughs> Today's moral of this game is do not walk downstairs with a leg that is in fact asleep. It's tricky and it's not worth the risk, especially if that person calls that you really don't really want to pick up the phone from. And uh, that's a different story altogether. You know those people that call and you look at the number on the caller ID or whatever and you go, I don't really feel like picking this number up. Someone else should probably go get it instead. That would be kind of nice in my humble opinion, but... Yeah, I would like that, personally. And the Kraken cometh once again! This time, he's slightly different because he has these little mini Kraken-type thingies that kinda appear once he spawns somewhere. Which can be quite annoying, but, well, they die pretty quickly, so you don't really have to worry about anything, really. All in all, he's pretty much the same as the last time we saw him. But this, this at least will be the last time we saw him. And all the little Kraken stars issue the balls of steel power up at you, basically. Which is pretty bad, but, well, frankly, the big Kraken is slightly more menacing, really. But that's probably just my own personal opinion of the entire thing. There's probably somewhere out there in the giant fan base of Woody two legs and the zombie pirates attack up the zombie pirates or whatever. Uh, that goes well. I think the little kraken is quite annoying, and I think he shouldn't be able to throw those balls of steel. It is totally unrealistic. But I think that's not really a real pirate, if you ask me. Real pirates know the difference between realistic and unrealistic, and they know that if they find a mini kraken that spawned out of a large kraken that they should be aware of balls of steel being shot at them in a cannon-type manner. It is pretty much the first thing you should look out for when you see a Kraken, really. Yes, mini Kraken with balls of steel. That is indeed the first thing you should look out for when facing a Kraken. Yep, 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 yep. So all in all, this boss really isn't that hard, but I am dying kind of more than I had hoped. 
But the Kraken goes down once again, and we will never, ever see him again. Because the Kraken has been defeated. And I apparently made a new high score thingy. And uh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Continue. Continue. And apparently we are now fourth place on the world leaderboard. I wonder if we can make it to third. That would be kind of neat. Kind of fancy. I would like that. Woody was pretty sure that there could not be that many beautiful deserted islands left in the Caribbean. This time around, he didn't even bother anchoring his ship, but just waited for Mr. Jones to appear. And sure enough, it wasn't long until the undead flotilla appeared once more. Mr. Jones was about to spit out yet another threat, but Woody cut him off. Listen, you no good undead monster! I have defeated your minions more times than I can count! There is no way that you are going to get this treasure back! This time, I will send you back to the depths of the sea as well and be done with it, shouted Woody. And with that, Woody Two Legs sailed out to meet Mr. Jones and the Undead Monsters head on.